What's up, everybody? It's been a minute. Busy, busy, busy. You know what I mean? But we're back. And, uh, man, I, I drove this truck the other day, and as soon as I got out, man, it just it reeked of coolant. And uh, we're going to go into this and uh, see what we got. truck sat overnight this hose is cold and squishy so we're, we're able to remove this cap safely <laughs> you don't know me bitch and she is a little low on uh, juice I don't know if you guys can see that in there now normally what I'm doing is kind of stuff I have my own way of doing it and I use my own tools and stuff but we're gonna try and make this a little bit more do-it-yourself so Instead of just topping this off and then putting pressure on it, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to top this off and then do a visual inspection um, to look for any kind of leak. You know what I'm saying? So a good tip is to uh, take some cardboard and uh, lay the cardboard out underneath the vehicle. Obviously, the bigger cardboard you have, the better this is going to work. I'm just kind of using what I got, you know what I'm saying? I've got it positioned where it's under basically the water pump. That's uh, this turd right here. And this way I'll, I'll at least be able to isolate it from the water pump forward. You know what I mean? Ideally though, I guess it would be better to have a humongous piece of cardboard to shove under there. You know what I'm saying? So we got our 50-50 mix. Go ahead and top this guy up. So I'm just giving her a look-see while this thing is uh, doing its thing. So again, normally I'd do something a little bit different, but just for argument's sake here, we're going to put the cap back on and uh, start this guy up. See what's going on. So we've been letting this thing run for probably 15 minutes or so now. Yeah, we definitely got something leaking. Yeah, it's freaking, it's up front, up here. See, it's like the same color as Dexcold. Yeah, you can see that right there. Yeah, I got, I'm going around this uh, upper radiator hose, the bottom of it. I'm pretty dry right there. Let's go ahead and shut, shut the sky off. You kind of smell it. <laughs> it smells like that Dex Cool Kush. <laughs> Almost looks like the um, the seam right here is split somewhere. We'll probably get a better view when we take this uh, shroud off. But you know, I mean, it's that it, it could be expected on a truck with 164,000 miles on it, so no big deal. Uh, based on what we saw, there's no need to add dye to the system. Uh, there's no need to pressure test the system. So we might be saying, hey, look, it just needs a radiator and we're good to go. Well, not so fast, crotch pocket. See, this truck has 160,000 miles on it. A lot of this stuff is original. You can come over here, you can see what we have. We've got the original uh, GM radiator hoses. We've got these original clamps. You know, a lot of this stuff. Can you see that little GM UBT? Something, something, something. Mm -hmm. well, you can just take your boy's word for it. It's the original uh, upper hose. This clamp's original. There, I can see it now. This clamp's original. The thermostat's original. We know we've got a problem with uh, this coolant temperature sensor right here. This was in an earlier video for the gauge always reading low. Probably a good idea to 
you know, do as much as you can, you know, like I said, while the system's empty. So we'll just throw up a little list here of what we need. We're also going to do the T-STAT because it's original, you know, 15 years, 160,000 miles. We've already got the system drain the coolant. We might as well do that too. We know we have a problem with the uh, coolant temp sensor. And I think since we are already going to have this stuff apart, we should also do this coolant temp sending unit. So we'll do that guy too. I guess this part would be debatable if we're going to flush out the heater core in this truck or not while we have everything undone. The heat in this truck works great, so we might not really do the uh, heater core flush. But we might. We don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know what we're going to do. Well, what I've seen happen a lot is you get to take this hose off right here and it's like corroded onto that uh, fitting at the radiator and you, uh, 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 and you pry, pry, pry and you might even split this whole freaking hose. So just based on age and mileage probably just a safe bet to go ahead and replace it. Some people say, oh yeah, check my hoses and you go and it, it just looks like a hose, you know what I mean? I, it, unless it's leaking, I just let it ride, you know. But we're at the point now where we got coolant leak might as well go ahead and do as much as we can right now, you know what I'm saying? Of course, the last thing we're going to do is put some kind of stop leak in this motherfucker because we'll see what stop leak does again. This is a radiator out of a car that I repaired. And this is the lower hose uh, outlet right here. And you can see that the stop leak has turned into the mush or oatmeal or whatever. So while the stop leak may have stopped the leak, it did a lot more damage than it was worth, you know what I mean? So, I ain't putting it in my truck. Now another thing we have, another benefit we have here, at least in this case, is we kind of know the history of this truck. Um, we had the intake gaskets leak on it uh, a couple years ago, and at the time I didn't know that, you know, people would be interested in watching uh, repair videos on YouTube, so I didn't film it. Uh, same thing with the water pump. Uh, we had that thing leak. So we might have got lucky this time and we were able to see the leak pretty easy but you know like i'd said earlier these things are known for the intake gaskets and the water pump leaking the water pumps this thing down here i kind of touched it with my pen right here and in that case uh, it was a very slow leak we're talking about maybe a uh, half a gallon a month or something just a really really slow leak i could let it run i could throw cardboard under there i could put pressure on it uh, nothing would uh, pinpoint the leak so what i ended up doing was putting dye uh, in the system and I was eventually able to trace it back up to the intake gaskets so we kind of know the history of this truck it's recently recently being within the past couple of years it's recently you know had the intake gaskets replaced it's recently had the water pump done so we're kind of good to go there but another thing to consider here is that you know what I'm saying uh, when we did the intake gaskets uh, we drained the coolant out of it before we did it when we did the water pump, we drained the coolant out of it and then we you know, did the job. And again here, we're going to drain the coolant out of it and do the job and then refill it with uh, fresh coolant. So in a way, we pretty much won't have to do a coolant flush on this thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's, the system's been you know, uh, dumped out and filled out with coolant probably, I'd say this will be the third time in, I'm guessing, like three years. I guess that's fair to say, three years. So. That should uh, that should make her uh, good to go for a while. So the next few videos, we're going to be doing all these coolant system repairs, get this thing back in shape, and uh, move on from there. I think we covered everything because we talked about the intake gaskets and the water pump, and we kind of did do it yourself. We didn't have to use the dye or the pressure tester to find the leak. And we got a pretty good idea of what's going on here. So I think we'll call this one a wrap. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you see. Um, First log on to Google Plus, and then you can come back, and then you can click the like button, and then you can uh, leave me a, a very pleasant and uh, nice comment, you know what I mean? And then you can log out of Google Plus, and then log out of YouTube, and then, but anyway, thanks for watching, like, you subscribe, you know what I mean? Uh, I'd, I'd had to turn comments off for other reasons besides the epic fail of Google Plus, and uh, life has been great since, because I don't have some little fucking... Peckerwoods don't even have a car to talk about. Man, that's not what you do. Like, motherfucker, I've been doing this longer than you be alive, you little fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
Go, go, go. Let your dog chase your laser pointers around, you little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, ever since I put them fucking tires on my truck, every fucking day, it's either been rain, wind, or I'm busy. Rain, wind, busy. Rain, wind, busy. It's like a never-ending fucking... Cycle. <laughs> yeah, never-ending fucking cycle of either rain, wind, or busy. So, you might be saying, all right, well, it just needs a radiator. Well, not so fast, crotch pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so, you might be saying, you know, oh, well, this truck just needs a radiator. Well... Not so fast, crotch pocket. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, he said it. Come on, it's crotch pocket. <laughs> you know how many times I end the end the sentence with so? It's like no. we're gonna do this so. And then just kinda just walk away. And yeah, we're gonna do the radiator hoses and all that stuff. We'll go from there, so <laughs> that's what it feels like when I'm editing this stuff sometimes. I've seen so much shit this weekend in the comments on uh, other channels that I watch. You know what I mean? Um, people taking advantage of the new change to uh, the comment section. And some of that shit is funny. You know what I mean? Dude, they, I, I saw um, like the first couple chapters of Moby Dick someone posted in, in somebody's video comments. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think they thought that one all the way through. You know what I'm saying? It depends on what else we gotta film, how long that's gonna take. No, right, we're done. Oh, for today? Yeah. Oh. I'm so used to just doing it all in one shot, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, is that, you know, I'll, I'll probably do the radiator and the hoses as, as its own. And I'll probably do that, that coolant temperature sensor as its own so we can verify the repair. And then maybe do the thermostat and a little temp sensor on its own, too. You know, because people are people are retarded this day and age they have a very short attention span you know what i mean yeah that's why repair videos that are under three minutes get you know millions of views you know because it's fast and easy you know what i mean and that's the thing is just like motherfuckers can sit and watch football for four hours they can watch a longer video to learn a lot more stuff you know what i mean and if they can't well fuck them it's their loss you know what i'm saying i was i was reading about something about google plus you know what i mean what was it I don't watch none of those channels where it's like people got millions of subscribers or whatever because a lot of that's just fluff, you know, people pretending to be funny. I don't get it. But a lot of them motherfuckers have been turning their comments off and it's kind of like a, a, a protest about um, the whole Google Plus thing. I got, I ended up looking into it this weekend because I went to comment on my buddy's channel and because uh, I leave nice comments for people, you know what I mean? And uh, I couldn't, it wouldn't let me make a comment, you know what I mean? It's like, please link your Google Plus, it's like, no, no. It was hard enough for me to get rid of Facebook. I'm not getting into another social media bullshit site, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, I guess this weekend a lot of people were pissed off about Google Plus and were making videos about their, their hatred of Google Plus, the way they integrated it into comments. And uh, I actually saw on a YouTube channel where the channel... The, the, the premise of it, I guess, is the guy talks about other YouTube channels on his channel. Like, how fucking retarded is that? You know what I mean? You're going to make a, a channel dedicated to talking about other people's channels. You know what I mean? Like, how does that even work? You know what I mean? The guy woke up, you know what? It's like the, the tabloids of the internet or something. Well, anyway, <laughs> the guy sucked. What he talked about was garbage. Fuck him. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't really affect me because... I don't let comments on my shit because of fucking stupid fucking cockhead motherfuckers, you know what I mean? But it's like, when I watch a video by like Car Audio Fabrication, I always like, you know, answer his question of the day or any of that shit. I couldn't even do that, so I was kind of like, man, fuck, man, fuck Google Plus, you know what I mean? Did you see the one where the girl sung the song about Google Plus? Uh-uh. That was pretty funny.